Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa Ellen Arianis, TEA, and this is Tea Time Adventures on YouTube. Welcome YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, I really appreciate the fact that you choose to spend time with me. There are thousands of other channels to spend time with, and I'm so glad that you decided to spend some time with me. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope by the end of this video you'll consider subscribing. Either way, this is Tom Thumb. Tom Thumb says, please consider giving this video a thumbs up, not a thumbs down, no, 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 a thumbs up for positivity. I love this thing. <laughs> so please give this video a thumbs up. It only takes two seconds. Now there is a subscribe button. Click that. And underneath that, there is a notification bell. So I'm erratic and sporadic with my uploads. Sometimes you'll see a glut, then you won't see me for like a week. So if you click that, you'll be notified of any time I do an upload. I got something fun. <laughs> I've been looking forward to opening this thing all day long. And this box is from Wanderlust Beauty. And they have a thing. Yes, they do. Over on Instagram, they advertise a mystery scoop. Not a mystery box, not a mystery bundle, not a mystery bag, but a mystery scoop. And they have two sizes of scoops. And there is the half scoop, and then there's the XL scoop. And I chose the XL scoop because I'm the girl that I am. Yes, I did. <laughs> Bigger is better. <laughs> So, I haven't even cut this open yet, but I just had to show you the cute little tape that they use to close this. Isn't that adorable? And then they've got the thank you. Little thank you sticker that says, for supporting my small business. So, we're going to take our handy dandy scissors and open this up. Now, I bought, I think, two or three other small items um, while I was there to round it up so I could get free shipping. But I believe the XL scoop is $45. And I might have bought another maybe $10 worth of stuff. There we go. So, this is what it looks like inside. Oh my. Bubble wrap, bubble wrap, bubble wrap. They have kept the items that I ordered aside, and I'll show that at the end. And... This is what an XL scoop looks like. So I'm really glad I did not get the half scoop. Isn't the bag adorable? It's just too cute. So this is going to be easily open. It is. Hard to see inside, but there is chock full of stuff. And I'm just going to go ahead and dump it out of my bed. It makes it easier. Okay, well, I've got some stickers. Well, let's see if I can find them all first. Yep, okay, first thing I see is some stickers. And you've got a hand with a horn through it. Owie. We've got some, oh, I love this. Anybody ever play D&D? &D? You've got your Dice numbers 20, your 20 die, and then uh, a Ouija board. I don't know if they're styluses. We've got a green jar with who knows what in it. <laughs> oh, I like this one. A crystal and a potion. Love these. Oh, I am in love with this one. I've got to find some lace special. This is a crescent moon dream catcher with purple feathers and a crow. And crow is one of my animals. Mm -hmm. It is indeed. All right, that's the smallest of it. <laughs> Skittles neon shriekers. A little bag of Skittles. Okay, find some interesting things in. Oh yes, oh yes. Earrings, earrings. Little pumpkin with hat. It says. Halloween! 
Oh, those are freaking adorable. And they're French hooks, just exactly like I like. Yes. Let's see. Got some. Looks like we have a palette. And it's a Profusion Cosmetics Smoky Palette. Ten Shade Palette. I'll go ahead and open that up because I don't think this one... Is it taped? No. Maybe it is taped. It is taped. Let's see. Well, I'll just do it. Do it this way. Turn that down just a little bit. So we've got a smoky eye palette, very pale colors, very neutral colors. Um, but yeah, a palette. I love that. I love that. So the next thing that we <laughs> next thing we see is a hair scrunchie with little spiders. Where's the spider? Oh nope, spider webs. So you got spider webs that will come in very handy in the spooky season, especially against my dark hair. The next item is <laughs> vanilla body glitter. <laughs> oh yes, I am a glitter girl. I've never had a body glitter before. Oh, this is great. It's got a roller top. Is it sealed? Everything's sealed. That's fine. That's fine. Glitter, glitter, glitter because I'm going to be something special for Halloween and I think this will go perfectly <laughs> with it. Sorry. Can't help the squeeze. All right. Let's see what we've got here. Next is Oh, this is interesting. An a lash applicator. I have teeny tiny itty bitty sparse and stubby lashes that even a lash curler cannot curl, hence drawing on the eyeliner like uh, Allison in the Breakfast Club. <laughs> but this is a lash applicator. Pinchy, pinchy, lays it on along the, the lash line. So that's pretty cool. Next item is Glam Glitz Liquid Glitter. And I don't know if this is an eye glitter or if this is for your lips but it goes along with body glitter perfectly that's cool that's cool the next item is Ruby May and what is Ruby May I have no idea what Ruby May is and we are sealed <laughs> it does not tell me what Ruby May is so it could be an eyeliner I have no idea. <laughs> Ruby May. I'll have to look it up on the website. But it's either going to be a lip liner or an eyeliner at this point. So, okay, not bad. The next item is unknown. <laughs> Just a little box. So let's open that up. Again, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I think it's, it's more glitter. <laughs> you seriously can't have too much glitter, can you? I don't know what it is, though. It is glitter. It's got a sieve on top, so I don't know if it's just something you sprinkle on you, like pixie dust. <laughs> this is adorable. Okay. Next item. More Ruby May Cosmetics. This one says Phoenix. Cosmetic Liquid Eyeshadow in Phoenix. Well, that sounds like it's going to be fiery. Ooh. <gasps> Multichrome. Multichrome. Turning this down just a little bit. See, now back here, it looks like it's red, but then it shifts to gold. It'll shift to green or purple. See that flash right there? So this is a multi-chrome liquid eyeshadow. Nice, nice. I haven't played around with liquid eyeshadows too much. I think I got some from BH Cosmetics, and they're a little patchy, so we'll see how this goes. But you know I like my bold colors, so yay! All right, next. Well, here's the lashes. <laughs> Hence the lash thingy. So this, once again, Ruby May lashes. 
um, Ruby May Premium 3D Lashes. So, I will show you those. I've never ever worn false eyelashes. I wonder if they give you any glue with it. It's called Coco. Apparently they have names. They're the Coco Lashes. I'm not going to touch them. Oh, because they're brown tipped. They start off black and end with brown, so it looks like it's a bit of a an ombre effect on these. It's very hard to see here, but um, yeah, it starts off dark and ends with brown. See, can you see the tips there? Yeah. Never tried uh, false eyelashes before, so I'd have to probably find some sort of glue, and I just know, I know the person to ask, so. The next is Stay Matte Long Lasting Liquid Eyeliner. Does it say if it's black? Matte Eyeliner. Does not tell me the color. <laughs> There's that. Okay, Liquid Eyeliner. Good, because the last two that I tried, and it doesn't say if it's Long Lasting Liquid Eyeliner, but is it waterproof? The last ones I tried, black and brown, were not. <laughs> Felt like my eyes were bleeding for days. The next item, it seems to be a Ruby May Day. <laughs> this is, ooh, a gel liner pencil. And number 10, which looks like it is a brown, which I'm not mad about that. So let's see. Yes, it is a brown. And this is the type that you have to use the pencil sharpener to, um, instead of just swivel up, you have to use the, the pencil sharpener to sharpen. I have one of those in my bag that I take to work every, way, every day, just in case, but I prefer the kind that screw up. Let's see, oh, Ruby May Gel Liner Pencil. This one is number 03, and this looks like it's a vibrant red, which that would be cool. Hot dang. Yeah. I don't know if it's a lip liner or an eyeliner, but I'm going to be using it as an eyeliner. Wow. Wow. I must say their packaging needs a little bit more distinction as to what these are. Maybe those were both lip liners and not eyeliners. I, however, am probably going to use them as an eyeliner. Oh, yes. Red eyeliner? I've been looking for a red eyeliner. Okay. Next item is another Glitter Glitz Liquid Glitter in like a hot pink. And the last item, we have another palette. And this, oh. Beauty Creations Dare to be Bright Bomb AF. And this is, please, is it, is it sealed in there? Oh, hell's bells. It is sealed in there. Is there in a package? Oh, it's in a package. Okay. Let's push it out then. Oh, it's pink, it's pink, it's pink, it's glittery. It's got two. Two glitters, two shimmers, and a bunch of mattes in there. All pink. <laughs> Dare to be bright. Bomb AF. And it certainly is. Wow. Look at that right there. I can so rock that glitter. I'm telling you. That is my jam right there. It is bold. It is bright. And I don't care. <laughs> I think that's well worth the $45. So we've got... A conventional smoky palette, which I'm not a big fan of, of neutrals, um, but it is a very nice looking palette. Um, it goes from medium tones to very, very dark tones. Um, yeah, it's sealed. Names like Raven, Bewitched, Graphite, Twinkle, Nutmeg, and Pure. So we've got not one but two palettes. We've got eyelashes and where is it? Ombre eyelashes, black to brown. And then we've got a lash applicator so that once you put the glue on it, you should be able to go like that. That's great. We've got two different glitters. And again, I don't know if they're lipsticks, like lip glitters, 
Um, I'll have to look them up and find out, but I'm pleased because one's silver and the other one is pink. So very nice there. Um, these two things, again, don't know if they're eyeliners or lip liners, but I'm probably going to be using them as an eyeliner, including the red ones. And no, that just isn't for Halloween. <laughs> We've got the um, Ruby May Liquid Eyeliner in Phoenix that looks like it's a multi-chrome. Um, then I think there might be loose glitter in here. We've got a Stay Matte Long Lasting Liquid Eyeliner. Again, I don't know if I take it as that's the color, because um, it doesn't say anywhere what color it is. And I don't want to open it because with, uh, yeah, just don't want the air to get to it. We've got this awesome scrunchie, which I'm very happy with. We have a roll-on body glitter that I am pretty sure I am going to be making use of for Halloween. We've got another Ruby Made product that um, I don't know what it is and it's completely sealed in plastic so I don't want to open it up. We've got these absolutely stinking cute earrings. <laughs> You've got a little treatsy in um, Screechers Skittles in neon colors. And then we've got the um, assorted little handful of stickers which I love that one with the crow and the, the crescent moon. Now that's the bundle, that's the scoop, that was $45. And I'm very, very sure that just a few of those pieces alone totaled well over, well over the $45 that I spent on an extra large scoop. But if that was the extra large scoop, I'd really hate to see what the half scoop was. All right, so the next thing I picked up was Holy Toner, H-O-L-Y, Holy Toner, Balancing Toner, a miracle toner that balances and softens the skin for deeper hydration. It was cheap. I can't remember how much it was because they don't give me the prices, but I wanted to try it. I like toners. I love toners. I've been getting so much into toners literally before this year. This year. I think the last time I used toners may have been in high school when I was breaking out all over the place, but <laughs> this is so cool. I love that. Now the other three items that I bought... Um, was a duo pack of Acai Berry Facial Mask. Acai? Acai? Came in a two-pack. Look how tiny that is. You can just see through there. Love that. Interesting packaging. Love that interesting packaging. Almost looks like grapes, but it's not. It's Acai. Acai. Mary Catherine told me how to say that word once, and I've probably forgotten it. And now, the most stinking adorable things on the planet... BB Tigger sheet mask and BB Eeyore sheet mask. Soothing printed, printed sheet mask in niacinamide and blueberry. It is endorsed by or got the Disney seal on it, so that is BB Eeyore. And then we've got another stinking cute one, which is vitamin C orange extract. Again, Disney endorsed by the creme shop. Both of them are the creme shop. And this is BB Tigger, because Tiggers are wonderful things. Bouncy flouncy, they're the only ones. Yes. So I had to buy those. I don't remember seeing those on the Crumb Shop's website. I'm all, oh, i got to get them. <laughs> I almost just want to hold on to them. I don't want to use them. They're so cute. Anyway, that's my unboxing for today. Um, I've done two unusual, possibly three unusual unboxings in the row, depending on when these come out. And I'm just absolutely tickled pink. I don't get that many subscription boxes. Uh, I think I get Walmart quarterly subscription box. That's like eight bucks a quarter. Um, I now get the Undiscovered, which is a quarterly subscription box that um, is lifestyle, I guess you'd call it. Um, and it's a different region of the world. And it's an artisan box or artisan box of stuff. Um, and then... I get Ipsy, my Ipsy glam bag, and those are the only subscriptions I get. I turned off Goldie Box because it wasn't to my liking. I still haven't used anything from spring, didn't like anything in summer, didn't like anything in fall. I don't think I'm cut out for subscription boxes that are lifestyle. <laughs> um, 
And then uh, I turned off uh, Copacetic Cutie just because as much as I like dual chromes and multi-chromes, I'm not taking the little Z palette to work with me. I'm always reaching for ColourPop Super Shock Shadows, the individual pots. I'm not a palette girl. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so that's what's going on here. Um, probably the next video up uh, that I'll be filming tonight for tomorrow is the mask a day, hashtag mask a day. Question, survey, if you've made it this far, I'm asking a survey question. Um, I've just discovered that for some reason, I have a community tab. I do not have 500 subscribers yet, close, 75, 78 away. And um, I have a community tab. So the first thing I'd like to ask either here in this video or I'll put it up on the community tab is when I do my hashtag mask a day, I am reading from the national day calendar information about various holidays and uh, obscure things to celebrate. Is that interesting or is that boring to you? Let me know in the comments down below. If enough people don't like it, I won't continue, but it's been uh, expressed to me that it might be a little bit boring. So let me know what you think down below. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Again, give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Not a thumbs down, no, no. But a thumbs up for positivity. So be good to yourselves, be good to each other, and I'll see you around the net. Bye.